Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today we're looking at the scheduling of supplements for different age groups of leopard geckos. Now I want to keep this as simple as possible. I have tried recording this a few times but I feel like I go into detail about other things which may just confuse people all over again. So I'm going to make this very blatant, okay? So we're going to start off with if your gecko is 0 to 6 months old, you need to feed them every day. And you want to dust their food with calcium five days out of that week. And you want to dust them with vitamin and minerals two days out of that week. So what I used to do um, when my geckos were all little is I would dust the food throughout the weekday with calcium and at the weekend it's vitamin and minerals because that's the easiest way I found to remember it. But it's always good to write down when you're feeding your gecko because then you can always look back. But if you find that it might be better to do any other two days in a week, that's probably even better actually to split up the vitamin and minerals. So for example, you could choose Tuesday and Friday to do it and the rest of the week is calcium. So whatever your schedule, just remember a zero to six months need to be fed every day and they need five of those days to be calcium out of the week and two of those days to be vitamin and minerals, okay? So, can you get like a pen and paper and write this down because I cannot explain this to people even more. Now, if your gecko is six to 12 months, it needs to be fed every other day. And what you wanna do is do, so on the first day, calcium. Second day, you don't feed them. Third day, calcium. Fourth day, you don't feed them. Fifth day, calcium. Sixth day, you don't feed them. And a seventh day, vitamins and minerals. And then keep that schedule going. Now, if they are over a year old, they need to be fed less frequently. So every three to four days. So you do calcium, wait a few days, calcium, wait a few days, calcium, wait a few days, vitamins and minerals. And then so on and so forth. I really hope this is getting through to you guys because just I feel like I've done so many videos on supplements and people just still don't understand them so I want to tell you a few little things about this number one this is a synthetic method so this is when you're using a vitamin powder that obviously doesn't have natural ingredients in don't get like thrown off by that that is quite a common way of supplementing reptiles although I have to say I have been using a natural approach with Gizmo lately and I'll be talking about that when I do the review on her light. Another thing is when I say that for example if I say they need to be fed every three days and every like I don't know every fourth feed needs to be vitamin and minerals okay that does not mean that you have to count out four crickets because people do that that means on the day that I say use calcium for example all the food you offer that day needs to be dusted in calcium. If it's a day where you need to offer vitamin and minerals, the whole day, whatever you're feeding that day, needs to be dusted in vitamin and minerals. The other thing is, do not mix powders. Don't think, oh, this schedule's whatever, like, I can't be dealing with this. I'm going to just tip in calcium and vitamins together and just mix it all up and feed it with the same frequency. Don't do that because an oversupply or undersupply of certain vitamin and minerals can be deadly. Seriously, they can. And a book I've been reading that's incredibly um, good and it's it tells you about every single vitamin and mineral what an oversupply and undersupply does to any kind of reptile as well, this isn't just for leopard geckos, is this book by John Courtney Smith. And I'd highly recommend it. I really want to do a review though on talking about every aspect of the book. So if you're interested in me doing a review, let me know because I would actually really like to do that. And um, it really shows you why you should not just mix vitamins and why you need to take this seriously because... If you don't, your gecko will get seriously ill. Some of the times it's irreversible. Their spine can get distorted. It's horrible. I highly recommend watching about metabolic bone disease if you don't think this is serious enough. And uh, the last point is use 100% calcium. So calcium has to be in like a little tub like the whole time in there or a little dish in their tank at all times in case they want to lick it. And that same calcium is what you dust more frequently than vitamin and minerals, okay? But use 100% calcium. Not calcium with D3. Not calcium plus by or whatever it is. Calcium. 100% calcium. 
And what I'll do is I'll link some products in the description box below and you can go and find them out. Hopefully they're found in your country. I can't do every single one's country. I don't know every single one. If you are in a country where they just don't sell what I'm saying, um, ask people who own leopard geckos or ask breeders in your country because I don't really know. But I hope this has helped. We'll go over the schedules again just so you can see what you need to do. Take note of this. If you have a calendar near you, if you have a leopard gecko already, or if you if you know you're getting a leopard gecko in the future and you can pen this into your calendar so you know what to do, then that'll be really handy. Anyway, I hope this has helped and thank you very much for watching.